In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual debit card that you can use for payments online. My name is Anthony Allen and welcome here to my variety YouTube channel where we focus on a variety of topics, mainly video editing, gaming, and online money. So consider hitting that subscribe button and checking out my online money playlist for more videos like this one. And now you've subscribed, I'm gonna show you how to set up a virtual debit card that you can use for payments online. The first thing you will need to do is to find the Revolut application on your Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You can see here that we've found Revolut and it has 405,000 reviews on the Apple App Store. You can see that I've already downloaded the app here. Now let's look at more details so you can understand what this app is and how it works. You can see that you can open an account for free, get a card you control, spend securely with a single use card, budget smarter and never overspend, pay and get paid hassle-free worldwide, I may add, reach your money goals quicker, go from cash to crypto in seconds, invest smarter with commodities and get more from brands you love. Now scrolling down here, having a look at the reviews, you can see that they are mostly all positive with most five star reviews out of 404,000 reviews there on the Revolut application. Now I'm going to update this, but of course for yourself, if you are on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, and this is most likely your first time using the application, you want to click that download button. This will be available on your mobile phone. So you will need a mobile phone in order to use the virtual card. Once you have signed up, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks similar to this. And you can see that the interface is nice and easy and mobile friendly. You can see that you can access profile details such as personal details, account details, price plan as I'm on the standard price plan and not using a paid version of the application. And you can also change your passcode. You can see me attempting to turn on the app notifications there. When I'm using iPhone, this will take you outside of the application. So I've decided not to do that just now. I'm gonna walk you through the process straight away of how to get started with your virtual card. So here we are on the balance page. You can see that I tested out the app to see if it would connect to eBay. This was on the 3rd of December, 2020. It also declined because I had nothing in the account at the time. So I was testing out if the application worked well and it did. And you can see that I already have a virtual card under the card tab and that virtual card will be censored. Now from here, we're going to select add card. And this is where we are going to add a new card. You can see we have a physical card, a debit card, spend globally with great exchange rates and built in budgeting. And below this, you can see virtual debit card. No wait, no hassle, spend online or with Apple Pay right away. Now we're gonna select virtual card. You can see here, there is a virtual card that appears on screen ready to be created. It says instantly create a virtual card to make managing online payments easy and never deal with hassle of losing your card again. And then we can see that you can select get virtual card. But next to this, you have disposable virtual. Add an extra layer of security with our disposable virtual cards. Your details automatically change each time you make a, and it says payment. Then we can select get disposable virtual card. Hooray, your Revolut disposable virtual card is ready to use. Add money to your new account. You can spend, send, withdraw your money whenever you want. Now this is absolutely brilliant where you can add money to your account, of course, and we're going to select not now. Now our new virtual card has been created. You can see it's called online shopping. We have an expiry date. We have a long card number. And most importantly, you have complete control over the spending of this card. You can set limits and you can do a lot more. 
Now, when I'm recording my screen at the moment, if I select this, you will actually see this screen is hidden to protect your personal information. This is because with the disposable card, those details change. But Revolut also do this with other details as well. There are some apps that do this for security purposes and this means that you cannot record the following screen but I found a way around and I will be showing you the other virtual card that I have and I will show you what you can do with your virtual card within Revolut. Now of course your account has account details also so you can transfer to your Revolut account as and when you need to. This is a mobile bank application so all of the details that you need in regards to your virtual card and your mobile bank can be accessed with the Revolut application. So here is a virtual card that I've set up with Revolut that you can actually see on screen to give you an idea of what your virtual card will look like and what you can do with your card. Now you can see that scrolling down, you can see a faster online shopping payment option. For example, Amazon, I can add Amazon as a faster online shopping option. So I can just literally click Amazon and then click Revolut and I can give permission straight away to make that payment you can see spending limits so i can set monthly spending limits i can label the card which means give the card another name and you can also terminate the card which is to delete the card from the application and basically destroy the card so it cannot be used and its details cannot be used here I have clicked the spending limits and you can see that if I toggle the option to give a monthly limit, I can then add that monthly limit as to how much I'm able or how much is able to be spent with that virtual card. I've selected £90. But of course, you can set this to as little or as much as you want for the month. Let's say you set up a virtual card for a Xbox subscription. You would only spend a certain amount, so you can set that for a virtual card. Then entering those details into the subscription, then you cannot be overcharged as it will basically bounce a payment that is trying to take out too much or if somebody else is trying to use your card. And you'll be able to see here with the diagram that is shown below of how much of your limit has been spent. Of course, you can also label the card. So I'm going to show you this now. I'm going to enter a name to give that card a name. So if you've created a virtual card for a Netflix subscription or for an Xbox subscription, Xbox Game Pass, for example, or for something else, you can actually name that card to remind you what you are using that virtual card for. For example, you could call it rent. If you're using a virtual card for only your rent, you now have control over that with a virtual card when you're using Revolut and you're using these virtual cards as the method in which you are making payments. If this video has been helpful to you or you've found this enjoyable, give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to check that description for more information. And if you would like any additional help, comment down below so I can help you in the comment section. But don't click away. If you've made it this far, I've got another video that you will find interesting and that's coming up next.